Yeah, I think you've got to have places for value. Like for us, we're looking at these sort of kind of stand up pillars for value. And, and you have to understand that value is defined differently in each segment that we compete in now, right? And so the value of a hamburger delivered to your front door and what you're willing to pay for that, very different than what you're willing to pay in my dining room, right? When, as we serve it to you. And um, so I think for us, it's really under, understanding, okay, for the in-restaurant experience, how do we balance the, eva- the value equation? We're doing things like all day happy hour and whatnot. Um, what are, so instead of sort of promotional offers, we're looking at value layers that are built into the everyday experience that become very reliable for the guests. So almost a barbell approach, if you will, that if you have, you know, if you're celebrating a special occasion, well, then we've got, we've got innovation for you. We've got new product news. We've got big plates and we've got all kinds of stuff to help you celebrate. If you're, you know, just looking for a night out because you're working your ass off and you feel like you're getting squeezed everywhere you go, um, well, then we've also, we've got a great solution for you there too, where, uh, you know, there's great everyday value, but not discounting, right? We, I, I don't think any one of us wants to get back to that pre-pandemic, right, situation where it felt like casual dining was racing to the bottom. You know, who could put the most amount of food for the least amount of money on a plate? That's not a race I'm interested in winning. I don't even want to race it. You know, I don't want to be in the race. And so hopefully we're all going to go back there only under duress, only kicking and screaming, right? We got to fight that off and just think smartly on how you're going to, how you're going to balance the value equation for, for your guests every day. 